Do you want to get into the University of Manitoba Medical School? Then keep watching to learn how. In this video, I'm going to go through admission statistics, eligibility, admissions requirements, application timeline, tuition costs, and strategies on how to get accepted. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hi, my name is Diego Pineda and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. If you would like us to help you get into medical school, go to bmomedapplication.com to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections that you are interested in. Now, let's talk about how to get into the University of Manitoba Medical School. The info that I'm going to cover is based on the university's website and the medical school's requirements website at the time of this video. The University of Manitoba Medical School is a very competitive program, which gives preference to in-province and indigenous applicants. Only about 5% of out-of-province applicants are accepted each year. The overall admissions rate is 12.5%. The average MCAT score is 510 and the adjusted GPA is 4.05. Only Canadian citizens and permanent residents of Canada are eligible to apply. International students, including American applicants, are not accepted into the MD program. The Max Ready College of Medicine divides applicants into four pools. First is the Manitoba applicant pool. Preference is given to in-province students. You can be considered a Manitoba resident if you have graduated from a Manitoba high school. You have a degree from a university in Manitoba. You have completed a minimum of two consecutive years of full-time academic studies in a program at the University of Manitoba while residing in Manitoba, or you have been a resident of Manitoba for a minimum of two years following high school graduation. The ND program also includes applicants from the Canadian territories in the in-province pool, as long as they are Canadian citizens or permanent residents. Members of the Canadian Armed Forces at the time of application are also considered as in-province applicants. Second is the Canadian Indigenous Applicant Pool. Max Ready College of Medicine encourages applicants from First Nations, Metis and Inuit heritage from all provinces and territories in Canada to apply. You will be required to submit documentation to support your Indigenous ancestry. Third is the out-of-province applicant pool. Applicants from the rest of Canadian provinces and territories are welcome to apply, but they must have an average GPA higher than 3.94 and an MCAT score higher than 515. Out-of-province applicants must exceed the minimum academic and non-academic admissions requirements. And the fourth pool is the bilingual stream. This is a subset of the Manitoba applicant pool. To be eligible for this stream, you must meet all the eligibility requirements for the Manitoba applicant pool and be a native French speaker or have completed your secondary education or post-secondary education in French. If you apply to this stream and are invited to an interview, part of your multi minimum interview will be conducted in French, and upon admission, some components of the curriculum will be in French. Voila! The ND program allows the students to take a variety of electives so they can pursue self-directed study in an area of their interest. You may want to pursue electives at Max Ready, affiliated clinical sites, or in other medical schools in Canada. You can even pursue electives internationally through the University of Manitoba Max Ready College of Medicine in Kenya, Philippines, Haiti, Japan, and China. The Bachelor of Science in Medicine program gives you an opportunity to engage in original research, either in basic medical sciences or clinical or community health under the supervision of a member of the medical faculty. This program includes both research and clinical components, so students can discover whether they want to go into biomedical research or patient care. The MedSummer Research Program develops the students' skills in experimental design, hypothesis testing, clinical evaluation of data, and effective communication of results. This is a non-degree course, but will be recorded on your transcript. 
Max Rodi College of Medicine students who have successfully completed their first or second year in medicine are eligible to apply. Other programs include the MD, MSc, and the MD PhD programs. These combined programs are designed to produce academic clinician scientists who are interested in a career that combines both research and clinical medicine, providing them advanced clinical and research skills. The MD curriculum emphasizes a person to community center approach. After the first four weeks of basic science foundation relevant to the study of medicine, the following 62 weeks provide a systems-based spiral scaffold integrated approach to normal and abnormal function. Learn more about this innovative curriculum in our blog. I have included a link in the description of this video. To start your application, you will need to fill out an online application form on the University of Manitoba's website. The application fee is $100 and all correspondence, including interview invitations and offers of admissions, will be sent via email and posted to your application portal. October 1st is the final deadline to submit the completing application and the application fee. October 15th is the final deadline for, to release the official MCAT scores. November 13th is the final deadline for receipt of all CASPER scores. Offers of interview will send by email on January 7th. Interviews will take place in late February and early March, and decisions will be posted in May. There is a detailed timeline in our blog, so check it out. The annual medical school tuition cost at the University of Manitoba is $10,000. Other costs include around $2,000 for textbooks and supplies, about $1,300 per month for rent and utilities in Winnipeg, and extra monthly expenses around $500. There are a few funding opportunities available, such as the Canadian Federal Loans and Grants, as well as the University of Manitoba Bursaries. Check out our blog for details on documentation required and application deadlines. Max Rodi College of Medicine applies a formula to calculate the ranking of each applicant. This ranking helps determine which applicants are invited for an interview and which applicants get an offer of admission. All eligible applicants to the Canadian Indigenous Applicant Pools will be offered an interview. However, for all other applicants, the outcomes will calculate a composite score to determine an applicant's ranking for the interview. And the formula is this one. As you can see from the formula, your AGPA counts for 20% of your ranking, your MCAT score counts for 50% of your ranking, and your CASP score for 30%. Additionally, your rural coefficient, your academic coefficient, and social, economic, and cultural diversity coefficient will be counting towards your ranking. Now, what about prerequisites? Max Ready College of Medicine requires you to complete a bachelor's degree by June 30th of the year of entrance, but your degree does not have to be in science. However, you are recommended to have background in the following disciplines biology, microbiology, chemistry, organic chemistry, biochemistry, physics, psychology, sociology, and research methods. Your coursework will be used to calculate your adjusted grade point average. According to the program's formula, AGPA counts for 20% of your ranking. If you are an improvised applicant, your average must be at least 3.3 to be considered for the program. Applicants in the out-of-province pool must have at least 3.95 average to stay in competition. Max Ready College of Medicine assigns grades on a 4.5 scale and will convert grades from other institutions to figure out your standing. The CASPER score is not used in the selection of applicants from the Canadian Indigenous Applicant Pool. However, as applicants from this pool may also be considered in the general applicant pools, they might write the CASPER, as it will be used in the selection in these general pools. Once the reserved spots for indigenous applicants are filled, any other applicants are considered as part of the in or out of province pools and their CASPER score is considered. So it's in the interest of all applicants to ace the CASPER. Max Ready College of Medicine uses the multiple mini interview format for all applicants. You are required to travel to campus to participate in the interview, otherwise you will not be considered for admission. 
To be considered for admission, you must achieve a passing mark in 9 of the 11 MMI stations, a total score greater than 2 standard deviations below the mean, and a mean score acceptable to the admissions committee. If you do not meet these expectations in the MMI interview, you will not be considered for admissions regardless of your MCAT and GPA. To get ready, make sure to know the different types of MMI questions and that you practice for your interview using these MMI questions. Medical school recommendation letters are only required for applicants who are invited for interviews. You will need three referees. When you receive the invitation to the interview, make sure to submit referee contact information by the indicated deadline using the online application system. Once the medical school makes a decision regarding your candidacy, you will receive an email notifying you to log into the application portal to view the decision. As students that are offered admission will be required to confirm their acceptance. If you do not accept the offer by the deadline indicated in the letter, your offer will expire and you will need to contact the admissions office to discuss the possibility of an extension. The admissions committee will send offers of admission to successful applicants by mid-May of the year of entrance. Applicants may be also placed on a waiting list in May and individuals will be selected from that list as vacancies become available. The last date of selection from the waiting list is in mid-August. Applicants offer admissions will have 5 business days to respond and will be required to pay a non-refundable deposit of $500 to indicate their acceptance of the offer. If you would like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe, like and leave a comment. And if you have any questions about the University of Manitoba Medical School that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.